Okay, so this is uh, geometry. Okay, this is chapter 14, lesson one. Okay, we're talking about uh, angles. An angle is basically the corner on, in a shape. It looks something like this. Okay, it looks something like this. So this section right here, this right here, the corner, that's an angle. Okay, angles could be in any number, but most of the numbers that you see are 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 180, okay, or even 360. Okay, 360 is basically if you turn all the way around in a complete circle. Okay, 180 is half of 360. Okay, so ignore. So it says an angle is made when two rays share the same endpoint. So here's the endpoint. This is the endpoint right here. And here's one ray. And here's another ray. So they're sharing the same endpoint. Okay. A ray is part of a line that has one endpoint and it stings in one direction. So have you ever seen somebody using a laser? Okay, it starts at one end and then it just goes forever, right? So a ray starts at one point. And then it goes forever. And then most rays have a little error at the end, telling you that it doesn't stop. Okay. An endpoint is the point uh, at the beginning of a ray. So this is the endpoint right here. This would be an endpoint here. Okay. A, the shared endpoint um, is a vertex. So when I have my endpoint is here, but it's also called a vertex. Okay, that's the endpoint. When two lines share it, when it's just one ray, when it's just one line, this is called an endpoint. When two lines share it, it's called a vertex. All right, just a little vocabulary for you, for us to remember. So it says use the rubber band to make a, a large uh, square on a geo board. Check this out. So it says use a rubber band to make a large square on a geo board. Okay, that is similar to the uh, orange pattern block. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. So it's four across and four down. It's something like this. There's your geo board right there. Okay. And let's see what else does it say. It says use an index card to compare the angles uh, formed by two sides on the square. So it looks like I need that. So uh, the angle that forms a square is called a right angle. So this is what they this is what they mean. I'm gonna use another color like this. And I'm gonna that over. Move this over like this. Move this over like this. And I'm going to color it in. Okay. So this, this section right here. Let me do this. Yeah. This section here. This section here, okay, that's called a right angle. Because technically it makes a little makes a little square right here. So if you ever see a little square in the corner, that angle is a right angle. And that is 90 degrees. Okay. If I cut it in half, that would be 45 degrees. That's this section right here. Okay. That's the distance from the bottom line to this to the line in right foot. Okay. So That's pretty awesome. So the distance from this to here, it's 90. Okay. And half of that would be 45. If I went all the way over to here, that would be 180. If I went all the way around, it'd be 360. Okay. 
if you're, if you're watching a basketball game, sometimes they dunk and they face, they jump and they face the basket and then they turn and then they slam it. That's called a 360 because the guy went all the way around. Yeah. yeah? I want to watch. They were drawing, so just like that. Let's go back to this. Awesome. Okay. Do all four corners of a of a square form a right angle? Well, let's see. And I use green. Whoops. Yes. Yes. Does that form a right angle? Yeah. Yes, forms a square. Let's see. Does that form a right angle? Yeah. Yes, it does. Does that form a right angle? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yep, all corners form a right angle. Okay, what other shape could it have? Would it have all four corners as a right angle? Um, a right angle. It's just that it would be a little wider, but each corner would, would form a square. Okay, does a triangle have any right angle? No. Well, if I have this. Does that, does that corner form a square? No. If I do this, does that form a square? No. Does that form a square? No. So does the right angle have any square or right angles? No. no, it doesn't. Okay, it does not. It does not. Awesome. Sweet. We're on the next one. By the way, the geo board is on the quick uh, classroom website. Okay. Which we could try tomorrow. Explore angles. Today you're going to explore angles. An angle is made when two rays share the same endpoint. This shared endpoint is called the vertex. First, make a large square on a geo board similar to the orange pattern block. Next, use an index card to compare one angle formed by two sides of the same square. An angle that forms a square corner is called a right angle. Now let's compare angles. First, make a large triangle on the geo board similar to the green pattern block. Then, use your index card to compare one angle formed by two sides of the triangle. This angle is less than a right angle. Now, let's compare another angle. Make a large hexagon on a geo board similar to the yellow pattern block. Then, use your index card to compare an area formed by two sides of the hexagon. This angle is greater than a right angle. That's what they did there. So we watched it. And they did that. And I move on to the next page. It should be the practice one, right? So tell whether each angle shown is a right angle, less than an angle, or greater than an angle. I'll tell you one thing. If it's a right angle, it's going to it's going to look like this, and most of the time it'll have a little corner, a little square in the corner, okay? If it's less, it's going to look like, like a W, like a V, sorry, V, 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 okay? okay. If it's greater, it's, uh, it's going to be wide open. It'll be like a, when the alligator opens his mouth really wide, 
Okay. It's like somebody's giving you a big hug, right? They, they don't give you a hug. They don't give you a hug with their arms close together, right? They want to open them wide, right? Okay. So look at the star. The angle's right here. Is that less, greater than, or a right angle? Less. less. Lily, number four. Is this less, greater than a right angle, or a right angle? Number four. Is it a right angle? Is it less, or is it greater? Number four. Here's the angle right here. Is it a right angle, less than a right angle, or a or greater than a right angle? Greater? I don't see a square right here. If it's a right angle, there should be a square in the corner. So is it a right, less, or greater? Yeah, it's a, it's a right angle, correct. Because it has a square in the corner. Number five, yeah, Ezekiel. Is it less greater than, or is or is it a right angle? Right here. It's less. Yes. Jonas, number six. It's all right because look, there's a there's a square in the corner. That's the easiest way to figure that out. That helps me. Aubrey, seven. If it's less, it's going to look like this. If it's greater, it's going to look out like that. It's greater. Penelope, eight. Less, yeah, because it looks like this. Caleb, number nine. Yeah. Less? Does it look like the letter of less? This is what less would look like. Does that look like this? Okay. So what is it? Greater. Greater. They're not talking about these guys right here. They're talking about this one, the one with the red line. Okay? Greater. And number 10, everybody? What is it? It has a square in the corner, so it's a right angle. What's on the next page? Go to the page that says homework on it. Okay, do one, two, and three for me. Okay. 